है गाइस नमस्ते एवरीवन और आप सब की डिमांड की वजह से मैं आपके लिए लाया हूँ आज बलिनो वर्सेस द न्यू डिजायर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माय व्यूअर हु कमेंटेड ऑन माय डिजायर वीडियो द लिंक टू विच इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन पोर्शन बिलो टू मेक अ वीडियो कंपेयरिंग द न्यू बलिनो विद द न्यू डिजायर एंड हियर्स माई टेक ऑन दीज टू कार्स The exterior of the new desire is a bit more curvy and fluidic. There is ample use of chrome and on this top trim you get projectors with DRL. The new design really makes the car stand out from the crowd and now it is more in proportion with the overall body of the car. Gone are is that look which had a boot laid on to a hatchback. Now this is looking like a proper sedan. This is not the stock Bellino. This has been customized and if you want to know more about this car, check out the description portion of this video. Like the desire on this top trim alpha variant, you get projectors with DRL. The design of the Bellino is more hot hatch type. Even though the desire is a bit more wider than the Bellino in real world you won't be able to tell the difference in the width even when the cars are parked next to each other The desire sports a dual tone interior with the dominance of beige and huge glass areas make the car feel bit more airy the infotainment system in this car is all new for this segment and it offers android auto and apple car play I especially like the flat bottom steering wheel on this top trim with this wooden treatment it really makes the car feel more premium At the back you have improved leg room and the comfort of the rear AC vent with power sockets and a nifty little place to store your mobile phone The Bellino interior is all back which makes it look a bit sporty. Even though this music system looks same as the Desire comes from the same manufacturer but this doesn't support Android Auto it only has Apple CarPlay. The MID of the Bellino is the highlight of this car. It displays multiple functions and multiple information that you would probably not need, but it is a good feature to have. Bellino being a hatchback has a smaller boot space. 40 liters to be precise also one hindrance in keeping those heavy bags in the trunk is that the loading lip of the boot is quite high so you would have to put your back into it while loading those bags as compared to the bellino the desire offers a huge boot space and that just adds to the sedan feel of the vehicle The rim size on this top trim desire is 15 inches as compared to the Bellino.
In the stop trim Alpha variant, Bellino gets a 16-inch alloy as compared to the 15 of the Desire. The performance of the Desire has improved than the previous generation car. However, the engine is still same. This performance is achieved by reducing the car's weight by 100 kgs over the previous model. Also for that added handling, the height of the car is lowered so that it is more stuck to the ground and doesn't roll on those twisty curves. Starting from the V variant right up to the Z plus variant, you get an option of automatic transmission which is an auto shift unit in both diesel and the petrol engines. When it comes to performance, the Bellino just barely marginally overtakes the desire by 1 bhp in the petrol department whereas the diesel remains the same however you don't get an option of automatic transmission in the diesel variant of any baleno another notable feature here is that the baleno's wheelbase is a bit longer than the desire so it helps the car to be planted The fuel economy of both the cars are closely matched with the desire overtaking the Bellino by only a couple of kilometers. However, I would not like to dive into the details of fuel economy as I believe that majority of the fuel economy contribution is done by the driver himself and the condition in which the driver is driving the car. So guys that was the car, that was my take and I feel if you want to move your family around in comfort, I think so you should go with the new desire and if you would be driving majoritarily slow uh, in the city and uh, alone so i would recommend do go for the balino as it is a more driver focused car and the desire is focused towards comfort and it has that sedan look to it so that was my take on on both these two cars that was the video i hope you like this one and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you didn't like it please vote it down but either ways do subscribe to my channel also guys of lately i have noticed a thing that 95% of my audience are just viewing my videos, commenting on it, but are not subscribing. Guys, I would sincerely request you to please hit that subscribe button as it motivates me and helps me to give you such contents and bring videos for you regularly. It doesn't help me in a monetarily way, but uh, it really it has that feel good factor to it. And you know, it gives a nice feeling to me. So it motivates me to make videos for you. So please do subscribe. This is Vinay signing off. Never stop dreaming.